In this lesson, we're going to look at how to solve equations using the balancing technique. Now, the balancing technique is the main technique you're going to use from now on yeah, to solve equations. So let's look at how this works. So if we have this equation here, x plus 2 equals 7, instead of thinking about covering the x up, we try to think of it as a set of scales. x plus 2 on one side, here I'm using x as blue, uh, and the read 2 bits as the 2 here. And on this side of the scales I've got 7 pieces, so I'm going to use that as a 7 there. Now, if we want to get the x on its own in the scale here, then what we would do is we would subtract the 2, the yellow 2. So if we take this off this side, providing this is going to work for me, um, there's one away and there's another away. Now you can see the scale's unbalanced. So if I took the 2 off there, I'm going to get x on its own, which is what I'm looking for. But I need to do the same to the other side to keep the scales balanced again. You think about it in real life, if you take something off one of the scales, you need to take something off the other. So look what happens if I take 2 off here, then I get the scales balanced again. So at that point I can say that x is equal to 5. The blue x is equal to 5, and that's how to solve it. Okay, let's take this into these sorts of equations here. So always keep in mind the balance and what you have to do. Now the idea behind this is to do the exact opposite. So the plus 5 here, we don't want that in the scales, you would do a wee take away 5. And because you've taken away 5 here, you need to do exactly the same to the other side to keep the scales balanced. Now when I take away the 5 here, I'm left with the 2x. And that's going to equal 4. So you do the 9 take away 5 here and you get 4 left. Divide by 2 to finish to get 1x. And just as before, an answer is 2. Over here, if we think about 3x plus 7 on one side of the scale and the 22 on the other, we may want to take away the 7 wee yellow bits if you like. But we need to take away 7 wee yellow bits from the other side too. So that leaves us with the three x's. And that equals, if we took 7 away from 22, we get 15. And we always want to get 1x or 1y, whatever the variable is. So divide by 3 here. And do the same to the other side, and you get 5. Okay, and this one, we've got a plus 9 here, so we want to take that away. We've got 25, so we need to take away 9 from that side to keep the scales balanced. That will leave us with the 4x on this side. And on the other side, if you have 25 small yellow pieces and you took 9 of them away, you would have 16 left. So again, find 1x by dividing by 4. Do the same to the other side and you get 4. And finally, we want to take away the 12 pieces here. And do the same to the other side. So we're left with 6x. And that's going to give us 48. And to get 1x, you divide by 6. So do the same here. And you're going to get 8. Okay, finally we'll move on to takeaway uh, equations. So we've got 2x takeaway 5 here equals 9. Now, in this case, you do the opposite of take away 5 to get the 2x, you add 5. And you do exactly the same to the other side. Because if you're adding 5 pieces to one side to keep the scales balanced, you add 5 to the other side. So 2x is equal to 9 plus 5 is 14. And then divide by 2 to get 7. Add 7 to both sides. And then you're left with 3x here. So that's going to be 20 add 7, it's 27. And you can see to get 1x we divide by 3. So that's 9, isn't it? Look at the takeaway 9, you do the opposite, which is add. But make sure you do it to the other side too. So that leaves us with 4x here. And 27 add 9 is 36. And... 
divide by 4 to get 1x and you get 9. Lastly we've got a take away 12 so add 12 to both sides we get down to 5x equals 40 add 12 that's 60 and then divide by 5 to get down to 1x and 5 12 is our 60 and there's your answer. So basically what we're looking at here to summarize you look at this here and you do exactly the opposite to both sides and then at the end you divide by this number in the front to get your final answer. If there's a takeaway here, you plus to both sides. Again, you divide by this number to get down to your final answer. And the good thing is you can put it back in and test it. If you know x is 6, 3 times 6 is 18. Takeaway 6 is 12. With this one, if we know x is 7, 2 times 7 is 14. Add 3 is 17.